All right, so I have been really off lately when it comes to like nutrition and fitness. I see where you and Hid what? <laughs> no, baby, it's got to be really small bugs. Okay, so I've been really off with my nutrition lately, and today is my day of getting back on track. And when I decide to get back on track with stuff, usually the first decision that I make is to make sure when I first get up in the water in the morning, before I have anything to eat. Um, or even before I have my coffee, I always will drink water. So I will drink, um, where's my mason jar? So I'll drink a whole one of these, um, with lemon juice before I even have my coffee. And that is like, when I'm trying to get on track, that's the first thing that I do. So I've already had that this morning. Um, and I did decide to do an intermittent fast. Um, so I'm only doing 14 hours today. So my eat time is at 12.30 and it's 12.20 now. So I'm starting on my meal. Part of this whole video today is gonna be like about um, what I eat before a workout. I have done so much research on like what's the best thing to eat before a workout and you know a lot of times you'll hear like carbs are the best thing or um, doing a fasted workout is better for like burning more fat um, but it's super controversial and there's really no like from from my research there's no like huge um, studies that show like any large amount of pertinent information so what I have found is that for myself, I do occasionally do like a fasted workout, but I'll only do a fasted workout like if I'm just doing like maybe a 20 or 30 minute cardio session um, and I just am in the middle of doing like a um, uh, intermittent fasting or something like that and it works out. I don't do that a lot though. What I have found works the best for me is if I just eat my normal healthy nutritious food super balanced with good amounts of protein, good amount of fat, good amount of carb, um, and then about an hour, maybe an hour and a half after I work out. So there's no like science to this, it's just what works for me. So today for my pre-workout, I am actually going to be making this kale salad, um, and I'm actually gonna have some of these meatless um, chicken patty burger things. Um, I get these at Aldi, so I'm gonna have those as my source protein and I only have one of them. All right, so my camera died in the middle of all that, but lunch is actually ready now, so I'll kind of take you through what I'm having. Um, and I'll actually, I'm gonna read you the, um, the micronutrients on what this meal is. I just plugged everything into um, my fitness pal this is probably my favorite app for tracking and that's another tip too is on the days that you're like trying to be really clean it really does make you more accountable if you just track you don't have to track everything perfectly but i try to keep track a little bit of what i am eating so um on today on this lunch meal that i'm having um the total calorie count is 542 calories which is crazy because wait till you see how much is actually there um and the nutrition is I have 23 grams of protein, 58 carbs, 10 gram fiber, and 27 grams of fat. Um, and then it's really funny when you're eating like a lot of greens and like really like nutritionally dense foods, um, it actually on my fitness pal will track um, what your the recommended daily um, value for like vitamin A, vitamin C, for your calcium, for all that. So today, right now my the recommended amount is like a hundred milligrams I think of vitamin A and I'm at 612 right now <laughs> just because of this salad um, for vitamin C it's a hundred as well and I'm at 186 already just from this salad um, iron I'm already at 26 grams of iron for calcium I'm at 21 um, so not grams milligrams I'm sorry or micrograms I don't know if it's milligrams or micrograms I don't know, that's a good question. But anyway, um, I'm 500% over on vitamin A and 86% over on vitamin C. And that's because I have a massive salad. So let me show you what I actually have. This is lunch. 
this is the massive salad that I have. Um, in this salad I have kale is my base and I just took a quarter of an avocado and massaged it into the kale until it like softened up and then I put all my toppings on top. So I have carrots, bean sprouts, some bell pepper, some cherry tomato, some cucumber, and I also added in these um, pickled onions as well as pickled jalapenos and olives. I'm definitely like a salty girl. I love any kind of briny saltiness, so I added that as well. And for my dressing, because I already have the avocado mashed in here, I'm not adding an oil-based dressing. Um, all I'm actually adding is this mixture right here, which this is just tahini paste. It's one tablespoon of tahini paste. Um, and I added some spices. I just added like garlic pepper and some dill and some parsley, kind of going for like a ranch vibe here. Um, so I'm just gonna actually take this and put this on as my dressing. And that is literally gonna be my salad. I did add, or I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt after I taste it to see if it needs any salt. And if it needs a little bit of sweetness because I have so much um, savory here, I might add just a tiny, tiny drizzle of maple syrup, but that's questionable at this point. So this is the salad that I'm having, and to go with my salad, I am having this, if it'll focus. All right, so I am having, first is these chickenless patty burger things. Um, I get these from Aldi's. Um, they're obviously meat free. I don't know why it's taking so long to focus. But anyway, I'm having these, it's a soy protein blend. I have a half a cup of white jasmine rice, so I'm not even at 600 calories with all of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because in my stories I post, um, so this little uh, stir fry right here was, um, I made that because it was grocery day and I had to clean out the fridge, so I put the whole recipe in my story, so be sure to follow me on Instagram and you'll see all of those um, like quick recipes or whatever I'm just throwing together. So this is going to be my pre-workout meal in about an hour I will be working out. It's going to be kind of a um, cardio-ish type workout. Um, so I'll be posting that as well and then I will show you what I'm going to have after that as well. <music> The kids never took their afternoon nap, so it got crazy. And instead, um, I just did not work out then. Emmy, and I'm gonna get one a workout in later on this afternoon instead. Um, and Frankie will be here, so that'll be a big help because he can help me record. Um, so that I'm getting ready to work out in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So I am gonna eat again. Um, so I wanted to show you kind of what my actual pre-workout is going to be. I take oats and I just actually, um, because I have the steel cut oats, I just, or no, not steel cut, they're old fashioned oats, so they're like the big grains. I just kind of pulse them a few times in my blender just to kind of like make them smaller so they'll absorb the liquid better. This is pretty much gonna be cold oatmeal, um, but it's really good, so I'll show you what we do. So these oats are really simple. The first step is to just blend them down and you can skip this step if you have quick oats, but I didn't have any quick oats on hand. So once I have my oats ready, then I'll just add in any kind of nut milk. I used almond milk today, but you can use cashew milk or anything like that. A little drizzle of maple syrup for sweetness and then we're gonna add in some fresh berries. So I used strawberries and blackberries today, but if you have frozen blueberries, those are great too. And then I will also add in some hemp seeds for some good omega-3s as well as some extra added protein. And today I did add in a scoop of protein powder. This is a vanilla plant-based protein. Um, I don't always do this, but sometimes when you're trying to amp up your protein and you want to stay full longer, this is a great option as well. And vanilla goes amazing in these. So that was our pre-workout snack and the kids actually ate this as well. So it was really good for everybody. <music> So 
I actually had leftovers from the this oatmeal and I just put it in the fridge and this is it the next day so really guys this is could be an overnight oats recipe and I'm not gonna put an actual full recipe in the description here because if it's a little too thick the next morning just add a little bit more almond milk I don't really think you can mess this up so yeah another bonus overnight oats and pre-workout all right so today's workout is going to be four different workouts for three rounds and then after we complete the actual wad we will jump into a little ab circuit just to do as a burnout so for the workout itself we are going to do 20 walking kettlebell lunges 20 dumbbell squat with a curl and a press 20 pitcher burpees and 20 push-ups we will do this for three rounds and we will only rest about a minute to two minutes in between each round once that's completed we will go into our ab routine this is going to be 30 reps 20 reps 10 reps of three different workouts our first workout will be sit-ups our second workout will be hollow rocks and our third will be toe touches um, so you will do 30 of your sit-ups 30 of your hollow rocks 30 of your toe touches then 20 sit-ups 20 hollow rocks 20 toe touches and then 10 of everything and that will be the end of our workout let's go to start off our workout the first thing we're going to be doing are 20 walking kettlebell lunges so you're going to count 10 steps one direction and then walk back your 10 steps first you're going to stand with your kettlebell to your side you'll step forward with your first leg and always try to land on your heel then go to your toes then you're going to lower your body by bending your leading knee and as you're doing that, you're gonna also lower your back leg so that your back knee almost hits the floor. Then you'll just stand up into that leading leg and then we will lunge with the opposite leg. In between our lunges, we're just gonna pass the kettlebell in between our legs and really focus on just keeping your core tight and your back straight. So the next move that we're gonna be doing is kind of like a single arm dumbbell squat curl and press so yeah I don't really know what to name this but the movements pretty simple again we're doing 20 total so we're gonna do 10 reps for each side for this movement you're gonna hold the dumbbell in one hand go into a squat and I used a heavier weight so I had to really kind of use momentum to get it into a curl do an overhead press and then when you bring it down really focus on that negative bicep curl and then you'll just repeat that for 10 times on each side and this is really a full body workout you're using your legs you're using your core you're using your back you're using your biceps so i really like movements like this that really utilize all your muscles the next move again we are doing 20 reps and this is going to be called pitcher burpees um, the only difference between this and a regular burpee is that your body is not going to fully hit the ground. You're just going to go into a high plank and when you come up and you land, you're going to land in a very a lower squat. Um, this creates better mobility and I really just feel like it activates your glutes and your core a little bit more. So we will do 20 of these and then we will move on to our final um, workout which will be um, 20 push-ups. <laughs> don't use your hand. Don't touch anything. Let me see if it'll zoom on it. Don't move. You're letting that crawl on you. I know. He's not sucking my blood right now. It's not. <laughs> they For our final workout, we are doing 20 push-ups. I cannot do 20 straight, so do as many as you can straight, um, and then as a straight push-up, and then just switch to your knees and finish out strong. To finish off our workout, we are going to focus on some core work. And for these three workouts, we're going to do 30 reps, 20 reps, 10 reps, and that's it. That'll be the end. So the first thing we are going to do is just 30 sit-ups. Then we are going to do 30, they're called hollow rocks or hollow rocking. Essentially what you do is make your body into the shape of a banana and you rock with it and lean with it and rock with it and no real, actually there's no leaning, but anyway, yeah, so you will do 30 hollow rocks and then you will do 30 toe touches and this exercise will actually activate your um, legs again as well as your um, triceps so you're just going to touch your toes 
and you can add weight to this if you'd like. I added a baby weight, <laughs> a baby weight, like an actual baby for my weight. Um, and I will do this for 30 as well. Then we're gonna do all three of those workouts again for 20 and then all three of those workouts again for 10. And that will complete our workout. All right, so this is me wrapping up yesterday's vlog today because last night was a very crazy night for us. Before we talk about like the complications of life, let's get into my post-workout meal. We actually ordered takeout, um, so we got Japanese. Japanese, especially since we transitioned to eating more plant-based, has been like really easy because we always just get hibachi vegetables. We love ginger sauce, um, and we also love the sriracha hot sauce. I think they usually put a little bit of ketchup so it does have a little bit more sugar. And this is a pretty high sodium meal, unfortunately, but when you're on the go and life is busy sometimes, you have to find somewhat decent options. And for us, the hibachi vegetable has been like our go-to. So I did have hibachi vegetables. It has zucchini, mushrooms, onions, and carrots. And then we got the, stir the hibachi rice as well. And I did not have anything else. I, sometimes I'll have like a treat at night, but that was it. So that was our my post-workout meal. I do like to eat within a few hours of a workout, especially if I'm doing like a heavy lifting session, um, just to refuel and replenish those muscles. Um, so let's get into the um, total calories and kind of like the macros. So my total caloric intake for today was 1,978 calories. Um, I did do a workout, so I probably could have ate a little bit more, um, but I just didn't. Um, let's see, my nutrients were, I had 64 grams protein, I had 235 carb, 23 fiber, 45 sugar, and 90 fat. So my macros look like 40% carbs, 40% fats, and only 13% protein. A lot of people will kind of like cringe at those numbers, especially if you're in the like fitness world, but I'm making my gains off of it. Like I have energy. I feel amazing. I have the best physique I've ever had. Not to say I, it couldn't be better, but this is what I've seen the most results off of and how I've been able to maintain and do the best. Um, for myself. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are liking the fitness stuff, let me know. If not and you want to see something else, let me know. I'm always up for new and exciting ideas. So thanks guys. See you next Wednesday. Every Wednesday is when my videos come out and you guys need to watch it because you're going to love it. I think maybe.